16.4c equations with exponents. Isolate the exponent. Important, before we can clear an, an exponent, it must be isolated. Or in other words, it needs to be alone. So in example one here, we want to get the exponent by itself. So we'll start on the side with the exponent and we'll subtract our number. So we'll get negative 2 times 2x two plus 1 quantity squared equal to a negative 50. By the way, if we had a square root equal to this, we wouldn't, we'd have no solution. But because we are going to be dividing by negative 2 here, and we end up with 2x, plus 1 quantity squared equal to a positive 25, we do have a solution. Oops, my 1 disappeared here. Okay, let's take the square root of both sides because that's our exponent. So we get 2x plus 1 equal to plus or minus 5. Subtract 1 from each side and we get 2x equal to a positive 5 minus 1 would give us a 4. A negative 5 minus 1 gives us a negative 6. Now divide each of those by 2 and we get x is equal to 3, or sorry, 2 and a negative 3. Now in example 2 here, again we want to get the exponent by itself, so we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. So now we have 5 times 3x minus 2 quantity squared equal to 40. Divide by 5. So now we have 3x minus 2 quantity squared equal to 8. Again, our exponent is 2, so we're taking the square root. So now we have 3x minus 2 equal to plus or minus. The square root of 8 is 2, square root 2, when it's simplified. Add 2 to both sides and we get 3x equal to 2 plus or minus 2 square root 2. Divide everything by 3 and so we get that our solution then is x equal to 2 plus or minus 2 square root 2 all over 3.